Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see how to populate data from a different table. So we will understand with, I have, I will be showing only with one table, like um, how you can populate a data from different table. You can um, uh, use the same concept for getting the data from multiple tables. Okay. So this is the ER diagram for the table, which I have created. So first one is I have created a pay status. Okay. This is to simply make you understand how to populate it. Okay. So um, this is a pay status table where number, pay status and member type. These three are the fields and it's integer option and text field. And for this table, I have created two, um, two pages as well. One is a card page and second one is the list page. And I have created an active status page where here uh, I have I'll be we'll be writing the auto population auto populating code. Okay, I'll be writing it here. I have already created the table, but where I'll be writing the code in front of you, where uh, I have number which is uh, it it relates this table. Okay, using the table relation property, and status is also option here. This is active status and allowed credit limit is the decimal here. And pay status is the status which I have obtained from this table. Okay, that is what I have um, made this as a record data type where I'm calling the pay status. Okay, even for this, I have created two pages. One is a card page and next second one is a list page. And also I have created a local variable called member type. Okay, to uh, bring this up. <clears throat> okay, and I have created the field triggers. So let me show you like what I have did so far. So this is the table as I told, uh, pay status, which is a table, but I have number and I have made this number as an auto increment is equal to two, where it will automatically generate the numbers, unique numbers, okay? And the pay status, which is an option where I have uh, um, used card, cash and UPI and the member type, which is a text. <clears throat> and this is number is a key here. Okay, and this is an another table which is um, active uh, that is active status. Okay, where I have used the table relation as payment status number. So I have related this table here in order to show that. Okay, and field one is a status which is the active status whether the customer is active or inactive. Okay, this is also in the option box, and I'll be using the allow credit limit which is an another field where based on the uh, option which i have selected here okay if i select card or cash or upi if i select card and if i select active then this allowed credit limit will be automatically populated okay so based on the condition this allowed credit limit will be filled in this is what the logic behind it so let us see the page for this uh, pay status table. Okay, we are not going to do anything with the pay status table. So this is the pay status table where I have created a card page and everything like number, pay status and member type will be there. I haven't included any actions or any other variable. So here you can see this is a pay status list, uh, payment, payment list page, but this will be in the list where I, I have done in the repeater. So everything will be displayed here. There is no uh, anything I have added, nothing I have added here. Okay, because from this table, I'm going to um, uh, get this value in a different table and auto populate the value to that. Okay. So let us go to the active status. Okay. So this is the page. Okay. This is the page for the active status. Okay. And here we have record number that we have got it from there. And I have created the payment status as I told uh, the payment status is a table which already there and I have created the uh, pay status one. Okay. As a variable. So this variable holds the entire uh, data from the pay status. Okay. So, and I have created a local that is a variable that is a uh, called member type. Okay, so we are not going to bother anything about the member type the, here. So I have just created the member type. Uh, so here you can see in the field number, you can see a record number. So what is the condition here is what we are going to uh, fetch the payment status from the different table. So it will show you UPI cash or uh, 
card okay um, and uh, this status will be here active status will be here in the same page which is active or uh, inactive so what happens you have another thing here which is an amount credit limit okay so if i select upi here and if i select active if the person is active then i'll be fetching i will be creating uh, uh, creating like uh, the amount should be automatically calculated and populated here as 15000 if i have create uh, if i have selected credit uh, or a card payment from here and if i uh, if i select the inactive inactive uh, uh, status then it should allow only 1000 okay like that we are going to do like that so where i have to write this so first one is we'll be writing the code here for the payment status okay so i'll be writing the trigger on validated so i'll, I'll be using on validated here okay and here you have to start with that so you have to write the code for this okay so i'll just start writing you have to use a simple if condition here so if payment status one pay status one dot pay status okay so this is the uh, variable this is the variable which we have created and this is the exact table name is equal to pay status one dot pay status double colon double colon is the scope of scope operator okay which you can use it where it will fetch the data from the uh, from the uh, that particular table so if it is a card okay then what you have to do then i'll be uh, writing that i'll be writing a thing like a record this record is there in the present page itself so i can use rec that is current record which is there in that particular so allowed credit credit limit is equal to i'm just making if it is card i can just allow it until 10000 okay the allowed credit limit is 10000 okay else pay status if pay status 1 if pay status 1 dot pay status okay is equal to if it is a cash then allowed credit limit is equal to 1000 okay if it is a cash then the allowed credit limit is 1000 yes if pay status 1 dot pay status is equal to pay status dot pay status dot upi okay so if it is a upa transaction then we can allow the credit limit up to one lakh okay it's a very simple so what i have told uh, what i have written for this specific field is what the pay status is card then you have to only allow the credit limit as ten thousand. if it is a cash then you can allow only up to okay we can make it as five thousand okay so whatever you want if it is a upi then you can allow up to one lakh okay so here this part is over got it so uh, this is for pay stated and we should also for this you have to uh, you have to create a variable i hope you should create the variable under that okay so this is for the pay status you have the status which is in the same table okay which is there in the same table even for this we have to write the uh, uh, write the trigger okay so here we have to write this trigger t trigger on validate on validate so even here you have to use the same thing uh, but you have to write for this particular status if rec dot status is equal to rec dot status dot active then allow credit rec dot allow credit limit if if he is if it is active if the person is active then you can allow up to ten thousand okay if he is active you can allow up to 10000 or if he is uh, uh, if he is inactive then you can set 100 or 1000 okay so this is what if you if you can just uh, write it else if then you can make it as 100 
okay then delete this else okay so that's it we have uh, we have created a basic thing that we have to auto populate so if you wanted to get the data from a different table you have to use like this and where now what happens if you select the active status the data will be automatically um, automatically entered into the allow credit limit let us try to save this and execute it uh, so this is what so first thing is you have to enter the data in the pay status card okay so let me go to the pay status card 50104 so so you can see here if i plus if i click plus where i can add add the new data here by default it's showing zero but if i press space you know like tab it will automatically uh, increment the value which i have given in an auto increment so here you can select the upi okay and the um, membership type as gold and if you want to add more data you can just make it as card card and okay it's saved here i've got it so now let us go to the um auto populate which is my uh, name of the another uh, thing okay here you can see if i change this to cash you can see that the credit limit here okay if i you can see here that should be 5000 okay and if it is inactive then it should be only 100 okay and if i make it to card and if i make it to inactive cash okay so here what happens is it is based on this it is working and if i again if i just uh, change it to inactive okay it is working like it is uh, 100 only allowed is 100 and this is the one that is a payment status from so if you wanted to get it from the previous one then try the trick which i have told you so you can try this to so payment uh, status from what where we are going to get it so the payment status is what um the card or or the cash or whatever it may be or as you can get the status that is the membership that is a gold or platinum or something if you want to bring it here you can try that so please try it this is the thing which you have to try so if it is card then it has to auto populate the uh, data whatever it may be even if it is a card or inactive so based on this number based on uh, the value which we have entered here it should auto populate the uh, payment status that is uh, card or cash here okay try this and let me know whether you could figure it out thank you take care bye bye